parts. So here we go. Shakespeare being accessible. Yeah. You don't even have to listen to any Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> but in a fight scene like that, as an actor, do you kind of look at Ray Fiennes and kind of going, oh, this is hilarious. I could easily beat the crap out of you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, he was tough, actually. He was, he was, um, I was, um, I was impressed with, with his toughness and it was it was really you know it was two solid days to to, to shoot that sequence and it just became about two guys you know going at it yeah basically, really which fighting. is a lot of what the imagery is a very homoerotic story between the two of us as well yeah. and if you watch that you could interpret it in a completely different way you know? i didn't yeah <laughs> Well, listen, uh, Corinne, it's out on the 20th of January. And can I just say, if any blokes are watching and looking for a date movie, I would say it's a very good one because the woman will think you're clever because it's Shakespeare and you get to see a lot of fights and battle scenes. <laughs> and it's yeah, guns and guns. Exactly yeah. the point. Yeah. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> and now, uh, another movie that's out at the moment and getting lots of award buzz is The Artist. Have any of you guys seen The Artist? Oh, I want to see oh, yeah, it so no. bad. Oh, it's good. Uh, now, what it is, it's a modern silent movie movie and one of the stars who's joining us tonight is a Jack Russell dog by the name of Uggy <laughs> and uh, here is Uggy in action in the movie <laughs> Omar Mueller. Omar. Omar is the trainer of Augie, the owner of the trainer of Augie. Hi, Augie. Hi. Is it Hi. 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 How are you? Oh, you're so good. Very good. <laughs> now, he's brilliant in the film. Thank you. He can do, he can do lots of things. And, uh, by the way, I hope you didn't find that too upsetting, Gerard. It didn't bring it back, the surfing, did it? <laughs> <laughs> It didn't bring you no, to a happy place. It was actually quite therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> There's a brilliant bit in the, in the movie. Can, is, the, is that the... the oh, the, when he said, yeah. When yeah, you guns, want to see him? Can, can the, can yeah, sure, sure. So the guns go here. bang. OK. Ready, Augie? Come here. Get over here. Augie, up. Walk, walk. Walk, walk. Bang. <laughs> Idea. Yes. I've had an idea. Since he can do the skateboarding thing mm -hmm. and he can do falling, yes. could you maybe it would help Gerard through his <laughs> through his through his traumatic memory of the surfing accident. Yes, yes, yes. If if he Uggy can, could relive it for him. Yeah, he can he can uh, he can board, he can water ski, he can do just about all that oh, stuff. Oh fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um Uggy darling, okay, oh. thank you for all oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure. We'll, we'll see Thank you God. later for the surfing. Okay, Ladies very good. and gentlemen, Augie okay. and Omar. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wow. How 
brilliant is that dog? Amazing. Fantastic. That's amazing. Yeah. Was that very emotional for you watching that? <laughs> Yeah, it's um, yeah, 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 pretty. It's yeah, a, yeah, it's been helpful. It's been yeah. a helpful experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, talking of emotional, Karen Gillan, uh, Doctor Who go boo hoo because yeah. uh, Amy Pond she go bye bye. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she leap. When are you? When are you out of it? Um, well, I'm going to go back next year, and okay. then I'm going to do um, a few more episodes. Um, but it's not actually confirmed when I'm actually going to go. And so I don't know. Is basically. it? Is it a proper dead? You can't, you, no I one really no dies in Doctor Who, do they? Nobody dies well, in Doctor Who. Well, it's possible. I don't know. I have no idea. Our Doctor Who fans, do they sort of drop ex-companions like a hot potato? Or are you a companion forever, do you think? I would like to be a companion forever. I think so. Aww. Oh, thanks. No, I think so. Because how, because the Whovians are kind of well known for being quite... Passionate. Man. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, yeah. <laughs> You'd say, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So what sort of mad things do, do, have you got said? Enthusiastic things. Well, there's this one guy who sends me a postcard from every place that he goes on holiday. And he just holidays consistently. And the last postcard that I received was from my hometown. I was like, oh my god. And he was like, I hope to, I hope to bump into you. Uh, uh, really? It was really sweet though. He's nice. No, call the police. I'd like to hear from him. <laughs> that's, that's, that's weird. No. Maybe he's in the audience. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Send me postcards. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask them. You're going to get postcards now. You get them daily. <laughs> and you, you hear stories about fans. And Martin, of course, mm. you know you're the Hobbit now. Mm, yes. So, I mean. are you prepared for what's going to happen? As prepared as possible, I But I mean, you know, I've had ten. Since the office, I've had kind of ten years of, of interest and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I realised, you know, we were on holiday in Sorrento earlier in the year, and I realised that. This time next year, I probably won't be able to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There, there won't be many places I can go where the Hobbit won't have been seen. I guess. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, although I hear Eritrea is a lovely holiday. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's lovely. Um, it is. Lovely. And I suppose pe people are used to fantasy films attracting this mm. sort of interest, and you, then you guys go to the big conventions and everything. Mm. But Jared Butler, you have your own Jared Butler conventions. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we're seeing who's behind them. <laughs> More than a lucky guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, no, so, uh, th are these are real? Apparently so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they've had them in Glasgow, they've had them in where, Vegas and, and... It's Vegas, the one that we belong to. Right, oh. right. How, so, how, so, so, what's your name, lady? Moira. Moira. How many people go? Eh? Uh, about a hundred. <laughs> Moira, Moira, you could have talked it up a bit. <laughs> we weren't going to do a head count. We weren't going to check. You could have gone with five hundred. Three hundred. <laughs> Three. Oh, very good. This isn't live. There's still time to change. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, next time we'll all go. It'll be great. <laughs> uh, so listen, uh, Karen Gill, in Pond, in Pond's over, but already you've got something new. Yes. Uh, BBC Four, later this month, we'll see We'll Take Manhattan. Yes. So it's about the model Jean Shrimpton and yeah. David Bailey. There's you mm -hmm. and yeah. your co-star there. Oh, and wow. it's based around a photo shoot that they did in Manhattan. Yeah, it's um, based on this one photo shoot that they did for Vogue magazine in 1962 and how together they kind of changed the face of fashion um, and also had a kind of explosive love affair along the way. And, of course, Gene Shrimpton and Dave Belly both still alive. Yeah, so they have, have they seen this film? Yeah, they have. And? Gene Shrimpton, she gave her consent to have it made, but then she didn't want anything more to do with it because she's kind of quite reclusive. But she saw it and she really liked it and she left a voicemail saying that mm. she thought it was really accurate. So that was the best compliment that I could have gotten. Because you were a model, weren't you? You did do modelling. For a couple of years, yeah. yeah. So did this make you miss it or did you just kind of think, thank God I don't do that anymore? Yeah. Mo, the <laughs> did you not like it at all? I mean, it was, it was an okay way to earn money because I was working in a pub before that. So it was good for that, but... It's not something I ever aspired to do in life. And yeah. um, there was a couple of things I had to do, like put a bucket on my head 
in a casting, which was rather strange. I love that as a model, they would ask you to put a bucket over your head. Yeah, they were like, it's about no the shoes. Sense. Oh, it was about the shoes. Yeah, they didn't want any distractions. <laughs> a bucket over your head is not going to be a distraction. <laughs> oh, look at the shoes of that lady with a bucket on her head. Wow. What's that clanking sound? <laughs> We've got a little clip. Uh, we'll take Manhattan is on BBC4 later this month. This is you and uh, a Niren. A Niren. A Niren Barnard, your co star, who's excellent, by the way, yeah. uh, in action. Gene! Head up! Bit more. Yeah, down with the bell. That's it. Give us a profile. Yeah, up a bit. Too much. Into the light. Little smile. Oh, come on. That's not the way you looked at me at three in the morning. So ridiculous. That's it. Done. Done? We're done. But what's next? Midtown? Or can we have a cup of bloody coffee? I'm freezing my tits off here. He hasn't even brought out a tripod. We haven't done anything we wanted to do. So is that okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Taxi! Oh. Good luck with it. Now, congratulations, Martin Freeman. Sherlock's back, and I would say it was brilliant the last time. Thank you. But it's better. Thanks. Yeah, it, uh, well, we're really genuinely pleased about it. Yeah. Genuinely very excited about it. Yeah. Now, you only make three at a time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're very good, but... Yeah, well, they're 90 minutes. What do you want, blood? <laughs> Six. Three, yeah, Six. I know, I know but it's like three feature films. It you is. Know, and it, actually, you know. you know, when you watch them, you kind of think, wow, each one is a very good feature film. Yeah, well, I hope so. Thanks. But now, will you be able to make any more? Because you're in the biggest movie later on this year, The Hobbit, and then the second part comes out in 2013. Yes. Presumably that'll be the biggest movie that year. Yes, and there he is. Mate. Just laugh at it. So, is that your life taken over now? You won't be able yeah, for a certain amount of time, I think, yeah. But um, the hope is, the plan is that we will do a third series of Sherlock, yeah, I hope oh, so. Oh, fantastic. There's certainly more to do, and I, I would like to do it. It's one of the few things I've done ever, really, where I think, well, you know, I'd like to do a lot of these, yeah. you know. It's a very nice way to spend your time. Uh, it's like me, Martin, but Doc... Dr. Watson is the sort of character that women would be drawn to because they want to take care of him. Have you, have you had more female attention since playing uh, Dr. Watson? I'm aware that there is that going on, yeah. I'm aware that there's some of that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I am. Aware how? Well, it's, it's, kind of because, it's weird because I spent most of the year in New Zealand, so um, it's not been first-hand, but, um, you know, I've got a computer. <laughs> That sounds really dodgy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're very excited. We've got an exclusive clip from next Sunday's episode. Oh, good. Now, it's... <laughs> it's there. You don't say a lot in it. <laughs> but then, you don't say a lot, really. Like, it... Fuck you, I want to ask very good. <laughs> but... You do a lot of listening. You do do a lot of listening. Acting is listening, lovely. Yes! <laughs> you know, and you do it really you well. You from Central, come on. <laughs> yeah, Acting no, is I, reacting. I was very bad at yeah. it. <laughs> so, we, you, you do some talking this, but there is quite a lot of listening. Go, OK, fair but, but, uh, but watch the listening, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's good listening. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your <laughs> eyes and ears on the listening <laughs> of <laughs> the BAFTA award-winning <laughs> Martin Freeman. Here we go. How on... Earth, did you notice all that? It's not important. Punched out holes for your tickets being not checked. Not now, Sherlock. Oh, please, I've been cooped up here for ages. You're just showing off. Of course, I am a show off. That's what we do. Train napkin, you used to mop up the spilled coffee. Strength of the stain shows that you didn't take milk with traces of ketchup on it and round your lips and on your sleeve. Cooked breakfast, the nearest thing those trains can manage, probably a sandwich. <laughs> How did you know it was disappointing? Is there any other type of breakfast on a train? <laughs> 